Uh, welcome back, everybody. All things I am as we are talking to the man behind it all, Mr. Doug Bowles, president of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and George behind the brakes. I love all things behind the scenes. Yeah. And, and your job, I mean, you got a lot of. You have to do a lot of big boy stuff, a lot of business <laughs> stuff. But this podcast is it's really fun, right? It's absolutely fun. I have the greatest job in the world, Aww. even the big boy stuff, and and I have an unbelievable team that allows me to go out and do fun things like behind the bricks. So, so it is great when you can tell stories and spend a little bit of time talking to iconic people, taking them to places or taking our fans to places they haven't seen at the Speedway. Yeah. We've had fun with that. And now we get to have a lot more fun as we partner with Wish TV yes. and really try and get this out to people to see it. And Dario Franchitti is the one we've just posted. And it's a great, great conversation. Well, you bring it up. So why don't, why don't we just listen to a little clip of Dario? And as I turned in from pit lane over the yard of bricks, the first face I see is my dad. And he's and he's cheering and then I see my guys and my family and, and my, my friends from Scotland they're invading it was like a full-on invasion and to see those those faces of those you know especially my dad who'd been there since you know he, he he's he's the reason I was driving a racing car to see that was so was so cool and see the, the mechanics and the engineers and everybody had worked so hard um, and I pulled in here and all hell broke loose. Oh, that's so exciting. This has to be so cool for you, right? Well, yeah, I'm a historian, right? Yeah. I love the speedway. I love the history and tradition. So to have an opportunity to really talk to these drivers and show people things is a blast for me. And Dario, as you could tell in that clip, is fantastic. It's, yeah. You could listen to him all day long. And then the stories he can tell are so fascinating. It, it was it was a lot of fun. So we had to break that one up. I was going to say it's two, like a two-part, This right? one had to be two parts because it was so long. It was so much fun. Wow. We started out on the Yard of Bricks, went into the green room there, the clip you just saw. And then we yeah. finished up with his iconic win with Takuma Sato battling into turn one where oh. Takuma crashed and uh -huh. Dario ends up winning the Indy 500. As we look forward with this podcast, are we going to be hearing from historic figures as well, the Mario Andretti's, the A.J. Foyt's, people like that? I think that's part of the fun, you know, to talk to those historic figures at the Speedway, let them retell stories. But it really is also trying to show people things behind the scenes so when they get a chance after they've seen this one, they can go see what it looks like in the Pagoda. We actually yeah. showed what the water that actually goes under the Speedway and how you yeah. can sort of go spelunking around at the Speedway. So it's, <laughs> it's a whole mix of things, but just stuff that people don't get a chance to see no. or here every day and that's what we love and I imagine it has to be a really cool thing though for these drivers as well I mean they have to be having the time of their lives being able to share these stories on a different platform so you never know right how how they're gonna be but you see it in in Dario when they get a chance to retell yeah. what they love so much it's it's fascinating to hear and he was more animated and told more stories than I really expected and that's how can we had to split yeah. that up in two he's just fantastic it's like living it all over again yeah. for them you know so, so in in the course of your work on the podcast What's the biggest surprise you've encountered? Oh, I don't know that there's been surprises. There have been some really emotional moments. The very first one we did was Bob Jenkins talking about Bob and how much he loved the Speedway, but if that's how he wanted to tell his fans that he had cancer and obviously we oh, lost Bob wow. for that so that was a really powerful and emotional moment uh, Donald Davidson retiring talking to that and, you know going underneath the going underneath the racetrack where the water goes mm -hmm. and thinking I was going to go all the way under and turn in the corner and seeing a whole bunch of bats hanging down I was like I'm not in that I'm out <laughs> so that was a little surprising we didn't know, and all I had was the flashlight on my phone yeah. so I decided we'll do this another day right, right. so it, they're, they're just a blast to hear but when drivers open up and talk to you that's pretty fun yeah, yeah. that's what it's all about I look forward to hearing so many more of these and Doug, we appreciate your time so much thank you for for telling us all about it well thank you and I'm excited about the partnership I think we're gonna have some fun so we're gonna get to do this with you guys quite a bit yeah Good. fantastic we're in <laughs>